Wait a minute. Hold on. I just thought of something, chat. What if there's specific skins or specific animations for guns that you can unlock? You know how in Valorant with the knives, you can get certain knives that are like butterfly knives and you play with the knives and like in CSGO? Look what Cass just did with his gun. What if there's individual weapon specs you can get or they're tied to skins, etc.? Oh my god. Nah, they're, they're doing it again! Now nah, they're doing it again! Pardon me? And then, dude, what? Hey, 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 hey! Show yourself! Oh, where are you? Nah, no, 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 no. What? We're not doing this again. Look at this shit. They still haven't. They still don't. Who? Now you. Now, 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 come on out. Where are you? No, 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 no. Yeah, y'all are listening, dude. He, they've already got the. Look at it. They already had it pre-made. <laughs> no, no, I don't want him. I don't want him to never tweet at me again. It's fine. It's fine. I. They <laughs> see it so what are they doing next week then uh there's there's more to come i bet we see i still my prediction still is my prediction still is is that we'll see uh something in uh uh pve which actually hold on uh, back up with me really quick here for a sec chat this eligible thing players need to own overwatch prior to june 23rd is that not the like i feel like they've they've mentioned june 23rd a few times I think the second fire. beta is June. Nah, it's too early. There's no way. Now I can't sleep. Let's There's no sleep. way it would be one week after the announcement. Actually, would it? No, 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 no. No, I doubt it. Uh, free to play will hit the hurt My the game team. in comp. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, look at a game like Apex. Is Apex hurt by being free to play? Um, I think the answer is no. Uh, it has a much larger player base than Overwatch does. Uh, the only concern, of course, is cheating. Um, which means that Overwatch would have to have a pretty solid anti-cheat. If Overwatch can have a really good anti-cheat, uh, I, I, then there's no problems with free-to-play. Zero. In that, in comp, sorry, in comp. Other than obviously smurfing, but like, that's a whole other problem that already, you know? You know, we all want this to pop off. We, like, listen, okay? But look at this video right here. Six or seven days ago, I had pretty much told you guys, hey, listen, I don't have that much faith. I think things are gonna are going to shit. Uh, I need to start thinking about what's right for me as a creator. You know, as much as I love Overwatch, it is my career, it is my job. I need to think about myself in the future. I made the pretty much the decision. I, I made the decision that unless this blew me away, I was probably going to transition away from Overwatch. And I wanted people to know that because I wanted to give edition, people communication. Um, it it kind of felt like Blizzard was in my walls Love a little bit when I put this out yesterday. No matter what. Um, with the announcement, I was like, wait a minute. It seems like everything that I asked for here is in this announcement like thing. I was like, that's odd. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, is all the things that I had been wanting and like the creator community had been wanting and a lot of people have been wanting. It seems like that has come true. And that is what we are getting, which means that they've list they're listening to us. They... They want us to succeed, you know? It's almost like we know what the community wanted to see. <laughs> Andy, don't you give me fucking shit right now. Let me have that. <laughs> I am not getting... I'm not actually... I'm not getting sassed by Blizzard in my own stream. This is not happening. Overwatch 2 going free-to-play. I guess we have to get ready for probably microtransaction skills slash weapons. But I'm okay with that, though. In the trailer, there's a charm on Cassidy's gun, too. Oh, yeah, I mean... I think it's uh, pretty fair to say that there's going to be charms on, like, everyone's guns now. Like, there's going to have to be ways for them to monetize, obviously. I'm open to all this type of stuff, though. Which, by the way, wait a minute. Have we seen... Is this a new skin on the gun? Wait a minute. Am I crazy, or is that new? So you don't have to just run gold gun anymore on everything. Now you can actually run other things? I'm with it. I like it. I wonder if you can see any on other characters. But, like... This is kind of cool, like the whole interact, like the interact thing where you can like analyze your gun. I think that's really cool. Also, by the way, wait a minute. Hang on. Did y'all not just realize something? Are these not all themed? Germany, British. I don't, I'm assuming this is going to be Canadian, but I don't see anything on it. Story skins. Oh, 
they might be story skins. You're right. Now that's a possibility. Because especially if they're traveling to different parts. I call Bob Robin Hood skin. Because they all definitely look like winter gear. It could be. It's. It is. Oh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this is this has got people in a frenzy. You know what I kind of think, actually, by looking at this. You know what I think this is. Can I like? I'll give you my five head theory. So, do you see the fox is, is leading the charge? Now, I want you to take a look at this. Creates this gateway, so it's very clearly creating a path. You see these stepping stones, etc. If you've played Apex, in Apex, Mad Maggie can throw her ult. And basically, it's this rolling ball that if you run over these like little things that it drops, you speed up. I think that it's a speed up ability because look at... Sorry, too fast. Look at all of their feet. All of their feet have the green uh, on it like it's Lucio speed. So I wonder if it's a straight line um, speed boosting ability. I do wonder what the blue is, though. I know it's Ana, but like... You think you think that's glare? Nah, you're you're fucking trolling, bro. There's no way you think this is glare. No, nah, it is a hundred percent some kind of cast, some kind of like uh, channeling ability. Definitely some kind of like speed up. That's my that's my idea. It's some kind of yeah, something like Mad Maggie, some kind of speed up. Where if the fox is the hero, well, considering he just fucking obliterated, right? Ready? He ran into the stairs and died. Uh, I'm going to very confidently say. The fox is not the hero. Watch. He literally boops his snoot off the stairs and dies. So, um, I don't think that the fox is the character. One HP hero. So you're telling me we have a Shenin Sheninja hero now? Nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you... Hang on. One second. Did y'all notice that? To team the tango. People at Xbox showcase stop you. Is there taunts? No shot. No shot. Imagine there is microtransactions for taunts. You can pay to BM the fuck out of someone. <laughs> I am buying every fucking taunt that exists, and I am speed running quick play with taunts, dude. Just. I just going absolutely bonkers, dude. <laughs> Worth every single penny. My wallet will be gone. That would low key be the biggest, the biggest brain idea of all time. Yeah, who's gonna teabag now? No point in teabagging, dude. Teabagging is for fucking losers or people who haven't swiped their credit card. True gamers with their wallets will taunt you. The teabagging's for the poor. <laughs> teabagging in Overwatch 2 is for the poor. <laughs> Real gamers that hit you with their $300 taunt. <laughs> if that's actually a thing, that is fucking genius. By the way, that also probably means that she can throw her axe, by the way. I don't know if you guys just caught that. The fact that she channels it back means that she can probably throw it. So she's got a shotgun, and a melee weapon, a spinny spear, and likely a throwable axe. One punch is all I need. Creator code's coming? I have no clue about that. I have no clue. The only thing I know about is literally this. Like, I was just as surprised as you were. To be honest with you, like I have no clue what is coming. I hope, I hope so, but like to be honest with you, Thanks. I'm willing to Nathan just drip feed it. Words. Can you go over the Junker Queen abilities? Because after the trailer, they seem 100. percent Oh yeah, I mean I already did, but I, I mean like fire. really quick. I mean I can tell you what they are, like uh, pretty much 100. percent Um, so first one is going to be an axe throw of some sort, some kind of axe throw slash return. So that's a ranged ability. Then it's going to be a shotgun, a blade. Or an axe slice, and then basically what looks like Arissa's, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, push through. I think that's her ultimate. I don't know what they'll do. I don't know how it'll, if it'll have CC. I don't know, like, what it'll end up meaning, but that is definitely, that is definitely her kit. 110%.
God, dude, I, I, I definitely just made trouble for somebody at Blizzard, and if there's not taunts in the game, there's going to be people wanting taunts now, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a shit show. Uh, you're welcome in advance. This is a big thing, though, because we now have a solid date to hold on to, and we can basically just mark off the calendar every day we get there. Four months is long to wait, I agree, but there's likely, there's at least one more beta, likely two betas, right? There's likely two more betas. So those betas will be nice to play, and we'll probably we'll get a lot more content. We'll get more heroes, uh, maybe another game mode if we're lucky, um, new maps, stuff like that. Leading fire into it, fire. so we're still gonna have like a drip feed of content until we get there. But I mean, it'd be crazy to say that like this is a million times better because we're all looking towards a singular date now. We're not looking aimlessly into the future, you know. Four months is still less than I expected. Agreed. I thought it was going to be more into next year. That's what I thought as well. Um, so I think actually, actually, you know what? I think if you go back, if you go back to like my earlier predictions, like from like, like a couple weeks ago, I thought that at earliest it would right after Overwatch League uh, in September was when it would lead into it. So I think I actually might have nailed that at some point. But then I think as we kept got hearing nothing, I pushed it and I said it might be next year. But I think I definitely at one point guessed right after Overwatch League early. Watch the PvE be its own thing and you need to pay for it? Yeah, I mean, that's probably what it is. Like, Watch the PvE be its own thing and you probably need to pay for it? That is that is likely what it is. I think everyone's kind of said that. That's that's going to be how it is. Like, The PvP is the part that's free because it's the... You want as many people to play the PvP as possible because that's how thriving competitive FPS games work. The PvE is supposed to be a story-based content. Like, why would they make that free-to-play? Like, you know what I mean? That doesn't... Watch this whole new thing where they worked five years on something to... <laughs> and they asked money for it. The capitalistic scumbags. <laughs> it's true. If you think smurfs are bad now, just you wait, chat. Um, There is ways to deal with smurfing. It's always going to be a uh, an actively combating battle you know it's like toxicity there's ways to be actively combating it you'll never get rid of it sure they are but this is blizzard but this is also not the same blizzard maybe you've known in the past because i mean we have seen them make a lot of changes in the last year and what they literally just gave us pretty much everything we were asking for um as fast as they've been able to they just gave us a direct release date for rush 2 they gave us more heroes releasing slash teased um they gave us free to play I, I mean like everybody wants something right like every team has worked in different directions you know what i mean like for example the overwatch team has not given us uh streamer mode for like six years right like people have been asking for streamer mode for like four years now we still haven't gotten it um so maybe replay system is like for the valorant team that they're like it's not that valuable but like the players think it's valuable you know what i mean like Everyone has every team is going to have different values. Streamers are a minority of the player base. Kappa, no, I know. I, I think you have a, actually no Kappa. You actually have a valid argument, but that's not the point. Uh, streamer mode actually hides like your your tag and stuff like that as well for regular players, uh, and that's extremely helpful. I know you're kidding, but like I'm just I'm I'm just expanding on it. Um, it's very helpful because people do believe that people, especially as, uh, people that have like uh, feminine names or female names, it, like as their tag typically experience higher levels of toxicity than others who don't have female tags slash or have men tags like men's or tags of male names so if they have streamer mode they don't have to change their tag they can keep the same tag and put on streamer mode and that way nobody knows so it's another way to, for players to protect themselves that's basically the whole idea behind it uh i thought this was just nepal but actually you've got a point that is actually a new location interesting Interesting. I don't know what this is, but interesting. So what are we supposed to do to October? Great question. Great question. What do you do till October? Well, um, in the short term, there's going to be another stream on Thursday. So we'll see, I think, PvE. Um, but we don't know yet. We'll see what we see. And then uh, likely we're going to have the beta. Or it's going to have a beta announcement. Maybe the beta is in two weeks or a month. Then the beta comes out. We play the beta for three weeks. We play the beta for three weeks. We have some fun, right? Have some fun. Play the beta. Um, 
we'll have a good time with it then obviously the beta will close and we're going to go back into depression we're going to have no cunt we're going to have overwatch one and it's not going to be fun for a few days or a few weeks beta three play beta three and then basically we're just in a waiting game until october 4th that's it that is all you're going to do like other games exist you can play other things like you know this means that this isn't like a oh it's going to be there tomorrow like this me like that's just not how that works this is like a hey it'll be here this day get ready for it all right i'll plan for that cool see you then